Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. Once again, it is time for a rant on another terrible Western cartoon from that is part of Crunchyroll Originals. Last time, I already took a look back on the rant about High Guardian Spice. This time, we're gonna be doing a rant on something that I haven't thought of doing one before, which I should have done until now. And that is Onyx Equinox. Oh boy, another terrible cartoon that is part of the Crunchyroll lineups, which is like with all these other mediocre cartoons that are terrible as well. Just to say, given the fact though, is that like all how Crunchyroll. It's supposed to have, like, these anime platforms, but they just keep putting these Crunchyroll original shows, which they look very trash and bland because of some terrible cartoons, such as High Guardian Spice, which is, that's one of them. But the series, basically, Onyx Equinox, runs the, to the culture of the Aztec Mesmo, Mesoamerica, which is like a... I started to watch. I watched only one episode of Onyx Equinox. It was very mediocre, I guess. Very bad. I mean, there's some terrible things of how this show is basically of how mature themes, along with some Aztec Mayan culture, or for an episodic show like Onyx Equinox, as how. Guess what? This fails on the down the rabbit hole of how there are basically how you expect of how seeing mediocre about Onyx Equinox I mean there's always have the has to, been given the reason of how they they use like these bad aesthetic with character dynamics and the usage of the cultural included especially in Onyx Equinox as well. I mean, this makes it interesting of the Aztec culture. It's providing interesting take with, on the genre of the show is basically how it's dragging it down, um, quite frankly, of how amateurishly of how the show's been created, especially if it's in the process of how, you're wa how you watch the show is really wanted to have, like, these types of shows to be something, if it's almost epic, uh, if it needs it, for, uh, if it only needs charismatic ways as well, especially of how you're expecting of how you, you're doing it, basically, of how uh, mediocre the show, of how Onyx Equinox is basically one of those terrible cartoons, just to begin with, as how it's any lineup to explain about any fair pass of how this show is not properly financially, of how this show is considering how it was on Crunchyroll. I mean, this basically another terrible cartoon along with High Guardian Spice, which is already how it became a dead giveaway of how it considers of how both of those are the worst terrible cartoons if it would change basically if you realize something of how the show's basically how it never gets the funds if it needs to of how it's just very bad and it's poorly made technically regardless of the budgets of how any entry of how how they made this terrible cartoon and as how this basically wants to get to the thing as well for a terrible one like High Guardian Spice and a higher if they would have done something better if they would have done in a higher budget and of how any productions on these although this is how I mean this if the story takes place in a full set random settlement on people which are not even close to how it's relevant to the plot or any narratives in the, happening in the story. 
especially of how there's the character which is perfectly how it dedicates a whole bunch any times to in discriminate village and this girl who is basically I forgot the name of the character it's, it's basically almost half the episode she never appeared again until the fourth episode Oh, where how it dedicates to the first episode so much. I mean, the character is named Yanya, which is bearing with some dude in the. I mean, the animation and the art style. Because some may say that that height that not height Guardian Spice. No, no, Onyx Equinox is like anime, but I'm sorry, anime has different types of standards at least anything of you if I try to confuse the fu the, the hell out of you because number one anime is in Japanese and two the animation quality looks almost didn't expect of how what you see I mean if they were to put one frame on every single frames on every shot and put how they put throughout this battle, it's really like, particularly how it's mishandled, of how you're describing this as well. Yeah, the animation is in general almost doesn't to expect of how if it reminds you of how they're different. I mean, the animation and on it, it's like reminiscent to these other Americanized anime type of shows like The Legend of Korra and Avatar The Last Airbender. Ironically. But for Onyx Equinox, however, it just basically how it's mediocre of how bad this show is, basically. Any other types of standards, like whether it's basically like superheroes, high school, or any action or adventure types of shows of how it's acceptable. I mean, the art design style, it was never good with those gory themes in the show. Basically, into if it, any action-adventure epic genre, I mean... I know the the art style is primarily for kids and teenagers alike, but it never applies to fit the maturity and extreme traditions of any of this happens. I mean, the opening of the show is how it screams in adolescence. If any radiates the vibe for any shows that, which is something that look like something you find on the afternoon programming on Nickelodeon, what Onyx Equinox looks like, then you got nudity and suicidal. I mean, how, why would they do that in Onyx Equinox? I mean, I know that you would never see... Because I don't know why they put they have suicidal scenes and there's some nudity on in the part in Onyx Equinox, that isn't something you would find on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon, usually. Because, according to the types of, or, of network shows off common, basically, uh, especially every types of fade-ins and fade-outs of how there's non-stop pan... If you only assume that how it anticipates any lacks of how there's, if they made this animation good, of how it's professionally made, every television series basically in general had ba types of transitions that are on the par of how they're, with a YouTube editing, especially on a Sony Vegas Pro, of how do they do that, basically, especially for a terrible cartoon like Onyx Equinox, there's the scene in the in the later on in the first episode. I mean, where the main character goes off to save his sister, where the sh the camera has a straight up up seizure for a second, fading in and out 
panning and zooming in for the next scene in that episode. Like, how does they do that? Like, which is probably of how they always do this, especially of why they do. If you not edit of how there's in the first episode is that it's very amateurishly made of, and it was also for the characters as well. These characters are basically drawn very often and animated with these thick outlines of how do they do this. Well, it's something of how it gets, particularly of how what you see on that. It's every on those lot of scenes when a character in the place which they looks very awkwardly composited on these hand painted backgrounds in this anime types of animation as well especially the budget wasn't very that high if it any aspects of the show is how it's a lot of low quality animation i mean just it just eats ass just like any other terrible cartoons out there as well any types of captures on these lifestyle activities and traditions ingenious people when it has almost interesting when it has none of the effects on the show's plot or characters in any types of form outside of generic TV show tropes, cliches as well than any other terrible cartoon depending on the genre it has to begin with for an example of how it has some traditional music especially for the soundtrack Every the soundtrack on here is like can't go wrong uh, if it's not handled used at the show at all of how these types of showrunners of how it has any use of music properly of how disjointedly in these random mm, crap part of these episodes with, depending on the situation it's happening and how the hell it is it got it gets even more worse straight up depressing. Any efforts they put in the sh context of the substandard action adventure animated series like Onyx Equinox. And the sounds is basically like non copyright, generic, tribal fantasy music. Like, what you. to expect something what you hear on. You, what you found on S SoundCloud as well. Yeah. It sounded like a traditional music from an ancient. In indigenous culture of how it's generic music from a bargain basement music studio on a cheap on a cheaper way like poor man's process of how they did this as well especially for a show like onyx equinox as well and how it has to begin with as well of what they're trying to say is that the show is basically the dam is to be something that isn't just how it's settlement of how people are attacked by the underworld god if it demands any sacrifices with these blood rituals of the two gods have individually summoned to the fight that go off and after when all hell broke loose happened in when it continues to the next five minutes or ten minutes on these bare lists of aimless sense of destruction and violence featuring any characters no one knows of how it, it, what's going on as well, especially the scenes throughout happening when it saved her. When he, the character wanted to save her unknown parents from how it sets the plot point in motion of any how it sets the tone. Because it turns out very dark and ultra violent, which is how they put in this one to begin with. I mean, it's basically very graphic, especially for how these generic art styles mishandled art direction the blood in the animation is like bright red when the characters die or take any types of form of damage when it has make any facial expressions react when they looked at these as well especially they're getting their throats slit supposed to have any intense right of how gory it is the explosions like they look like strawberry kool-aid coming out of their necks of how you see in this animation. I mean, think about it. I mean, the character's arms get ripped off. Yep, it's super violent, but it's like candy color red in the contrast to these dark brown gritty scene that is just not very believable of how it looks very ridiculous.
it's like how do they do this to begin of how they made this as well at, at first the, the first half of these episode is like has some random carnage that basically has no reason to care for when it features any ultra violence of how it cannot take seriously containing these characters that you don't know what they're up to uh, for the expection of this girl the, f the first three episodes later on how it happens any types of every aspects of how mediocrity of how onyx equinox is most of the glaring issues basically how there's present how it's not really the the, the the poorly financial support or i mean it's just impute imputed experience and repetitive of how they're it's dealing with how any types of nonsense especially the four gods decide to conversation in private shortly after the carnage happening in onyx equinox when they were possessing humans when they can only hide the forms of temporarily when the bodies are possessed they did deteriorate it over time which is how they did this in this cartoon like every interest throughout in this episode i mean the coolest happening is like completely ruined incredibly very bad voice and and the voice acting in onyx equinox is very bad it's like you expect seeing something that you hear at a video production class at a film that like you see at a film school as well particularly for one or two uh, any characters depending on how it's intimidating deities like how the brazen act of war how it gets to the point how it's the close five gates forget out quickly it, it'll handle of how this guy particularly never fits in with all the rest of the characters but the other guy right there sounds like a super generic male voice that you hear in a game such as Fallout as well. Any survival of how he could not be trusted with his twin severe McFlanta Hootley was not really in a good choice any voice casting especially for the Mesoamerican Aztec God I'm just saying of how this, how you, I was witnessing of how this, how mediocre see of how this bad voice acting in Onyx Equinox is how it constantly like any types of conversation is that there's not enough blood sacrifices for the gods. Every it, like since the god of the underworld never gets enough, which that's why, especially the sudden attack. In, on the village, which happens when the underworld gods, like two of them in particular, proposal when they sent out a chosen one, quote unquote, which is basically like the champion of humanity in particular, of how the five gates of the underworld, well, any of the, pl so that's basically the plot, like especially for the chosen one, wanted to travel across the land to perform objects to save the world, basically of how which is very convenient coincidence as well not even interesting enough as well any types of tropes happen to discuss of how what you see about there's a proposal between the gods and deities or any ones especially the main character of the show it's only for in the few episodes of how it's introduced on the voice actor or actress depending on how they're voicing the character, every material happening as well. Come to think of it, this is basically of how mediocre, of how it's just very awful in Onyx Equinox. I mean, the, you expect to hear a, a whiny ass voice from the primary antagonist from the show, especially of how. So I'm just going to hold up. So I'm just going to give it a, to the blaze through of how that his sister is about to be sacrificed when the gods make settlements safe for the catalyst of how they do this, especially for this episode. If you can find anything of how to expect happening in Onyx Equinox, yeah. The animation is very choppy as well.
I mean, think of it. it. It looks very bland and very, like, poor man's animation. And it just eats ass as well. There's some un unimportant parts of how it wasn't very super high if it wasn't very important for these types of dramatic moments in the animation. Think about it. There's a little bit of fluid in this part of how the cell is dramatically to save his, the, the character wanted to save the sister, particularly of how this happened on in Onyx Equinox as well. Yeah. If you want, you thought that animation it looks pretty bad. It, we have another one, which is even more worse, which is way worser than High Guardian Spice. Because both of these shows are part of the Crunchyroll Originals lineup. I mean, I suppose basically of how it's very mediocre of how the show is, particularly like. It's like the makers of this show is basically how they hired the Bubble Brand version of. Avatar The Last Airbender. Think store brand sodas, basically, if you could find at your local grocery store. No, your local dollar store. Especially of how... What to expect of how they do this as well for the show. Like, Onyx Equinox as well. As opposed to, to the standard of these. How... It's basically becoming a terrible cartoon as well. And guess what? This is how more terrible it gets of how... What Onyx Equinox is as well. Yeah, this proves to get into the fact that... There is a... More mediocrity what you could describe happening in Onyx Equinox. I mean, it's like... A wasted potential for a, a, a terrible cartoon like Onyx Equinox. Yeah, because you think that terrible cartoon, terrible Western cartoons are very bad at will? Well, we got another one, which is part of Crunchyroll Originals. Yeah. Hi Onyx Equinox was, I thought, when I saw this at first. I thought this was another one that is animated by Japanese animators, but no, it wasn't. Just like High Guardian Spice as well. Just to how we got another mediocre cartoon that is part of Crunchyroll Originals. Yes, that's right. Because it looks very bland and trash, though. Okay. I don't know why it's very mediocre as well, which is more worse than these other terrible cartoons, like, I think we already mentioned it in the past, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, you get the picture, though, which is how they made terrible cartoons, like, which I, I think I... Especially the ones that are weird as well, like in the past, which I think I have not mentioned it, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Uh, Fanboy and Chum Chum, even though it's more worse as well. <sighs> right. But still, but that doesn't mean of how it's given in the fact of how there's a types of me mediocre cartoons that are bad and terrible. The art direction and the storyboarding of how something of how, how look like something is made, especially when they're attending community college, with these poor financial support of how the awkwardness it never stops there to begin with. When you're when the character you're witnessing his family member die, the cell do, each of the frame cell to see hides that living is never worth it. As how honestly is that it gets more mediocre if there's some kind of trouble articulating of how this happened in Onyx Equinox as well.
particularly of how this goes. Yeah. This is something of how... Uh, it looks very awkwardly paced, especially for the animation. When the character flies down the hole, when there's sudden desires of how... It gets very more bland as well. <clears throat> Every scene as... How... No matter how gory and ultra-violent Onyx Equinox is as well. These amateurish production and the quality of how there's some awkwardly paced scenes and bad voice acting, bad voice acting in, on every character. Or when the character takes his own life, any awkwardness as how this goes, particularly of how mediocre this cartoon is as well. I know this cartoon that has to deal with any higher budget on this generic art style it should have been better with a higher budget. It will never change the fact for the Mesoamerican Meso tradition and culture barely affects the show. On the typical story of how there's any other epic higher budgets, it will never make the pacing on the show more or less awkward as well. So this show is basically terrible. It's a massive mediocre show of how it's very bad. The story is very lame though. I mean the characters on it is very bland as well. The animation quality looks very like uh, reminiscent to these low quality terrible cartoons as well as how I can understand why is how they basically how they made to begin with. The, the voice acting is very bad, though. I mean, the music is very, like, reminiscent of something you find on SoundCloud. I mean, the production values, it looks very not that good as well, but it's pretty bad, though. And also, for overall, this show is basically one of those worst Crunchyroll originals. My score for this show, I'm going to give it a 1. That's right, a 1. So that's going to be it for my rant on Onyx Equinox for today, you guys. Thank you for watching. Before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Ever since I did my rant on High Guardian Spice, this is a, the mediocrity of how bad Onyx Equinox is, because there's some terrible cartoons that are part of Crunchyroll Originals as well. Yeah, because I was never a fan of Crunchyroll Originals. Which is basically in the equivalent how some are not fans of direct act to video Disney films in, in general, particularly. Which that'll be a subject for another time. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You share this video on your Twitter, and Facebook. If you have a Twitter, and Facebook account, on all the social media, smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comments section below on this video if you like as well. And that's the real reason why Onyx Equinox is gotten mediocre because a lot of no wonder why people criticize Crunchyroll especially for Crunchyroll originals if you want to check out my anime planet the link will be in the description down below if you like as well be sure to click on the subscribe button for more videos on here by clicking on the subscribe button smack the notifications bell button be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates and that's all I have what I got for today this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video I'm glad you liked it I hope you enjoy it Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off, and thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos.